All right, y'all, I'm here to tell you how to get a slide on Motobase. So um, we have Motobase open here. If you look in control, you'll see this slide, this pitch wheel, um, or you could do legato slide, which is what I've chosen to do, which is uh, MIDI CC control number 65. Okay, here I am in Reaper. So usually you'll see, you know, the velocity notes or whatever go to MIDI number 65 okay 65 portamento portamento slide on and off so this is legato so you play two notes it'll slide from one to the next <clears throat> um, now you may think um, you may like stick a note up here and stick a note down here or, uh, there, there's a note. You may stick two notes here and think, I want to slide from here to here. And you might just give it a shot. You might be like, yeah, this is great. Set it up. I'm setting portamento to on, and I'm trying to slide from this note to this note. But it doesn't work. And the reason it's not working is because this is copying a bass very uh, closely. And... Um, if you look down here, you'll see that it's playing on two different strings. This string and that string. If you want it to slide from one note to the next, you have to play it on the same string. So, uh, you can force it to play both on this low string. You can force it to play every higher note on a lower string. So, uh, we do that with these key switches down here. If you see here, force E string. So I'm just going to force E string here with uh, E0, which is E0 right here. Now, okay, what did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? Oh, okay, this, this note needs to be played on the E string, so this MIDI has to go before it. Did I not? Oh, it's on F. There you go. And then the velocity of the second note decides how fast it slides. There you go. And that is my preferred way to do a slide on Moto Bass 2 and why y'all are probably having issues because it's simulating a real bass.